let me thank our colleagues for the very interesting interaction we, we have had. Um, I believe that it's been useful and fruitful to both sides. Um, we have discussed issues to do with the financial sector clean out and um, what some of the causes for the crisis you know have been and what the impact of the whole crisis is uh, on the financial sector but on the larger economy in terms of the closure of the banks and microfinance companies um, what the total cost has been we were happy to be giving a briefing by our members of parliament here what the estimate of the size of the cost of the clean out has been and we see that it's quite a huge um, um, a chunk which will be a burden on the taxpayer. We discussed um, how to improve financing to the agri sector and we had a very passionate discussion on it. There were a lot of suggestions as to how we can streamline funding uh, to farmers in order to improve agricultural productivity because if our economy must advance, agriculture is one of the main sectors that we need to put more investment in. But because it's a risky uh, venture, most of the financial institutions shy away from it. And so we had a lot of discussions about it. We discussed how to regulate the financial sector better because this is not the first time we've reached this place. I remember in the past there was the same crisis in the financial sector and uh, it resulted in the establishment of the Non-Performing Assets Recovery Trust to clean out the financial sector and put it on a stable footing again. And so one wouldn't have expected that we would be uh, at the same place. And so what reforms need to be put in, both in the financial sector, but also in the central bank, in order to tighten regulation so that um, governance in these financial institutions is looked at on a timely basis and not wait until you know the harm has been done before the regulator steps in at a very huge cost to try and do a clean out like we are uh, currently uh, doing. Um, of course, Unicov briefed us on the interventions they've been making to ensure that there are workers who have been uh, laid off or have lost their jobs um, are treated fairly in terms of their severance packages. And I want to congratulate them for doing a good job in ensuring that these workers have not been left to their, their fate. And even though the workers work in progress, I mean, from the briefing we got, they've done a very good intervention to ensure that uh, these workers are taken care of. We also spoke about housing, how to improve housing for uh, workers, not only in the financial sector, but workers at large. And uh, we had some quite inter interesting discussions. Indeed, the discussions went beyond the financial sector. We started talking about patriotism and love of country <laughs> and educational <laughs> curricula <laughs> and how to improve, you know, the educational curricula so that we have, you know, more responsible citizens. But in all, it's been a very interesting discussion. We're taking a lot of ideas uh, from you and um, we'll be grateful if you can think through and give us a position paper which we will hand over to our manifesto committee.